videos for the Hollow D Everlight mystery. So the first thing you gotta do is go to Everlight. And before you could even do this quest, you gotta be 105 Archaeology. Alright, so we are that. And what you're also gonna need is 300 mosaic pieces. And I'm gonna show you how to get that. And what you also need is the four bucklers that you would find while you're leveling. That's the one thing you'll find. So you need the, this one, this one, this one, and that one. And where you get the Dominion Torch is the Dominion Games Podium. And you would get the torch. And when you get the torch, you would go this way. You would run all the way back. You would plumb over this rubble. Jump over the broken doorway. And then run. Run over here. Traverse this plank. And then keep going. We'll keep running down. Come on this side. And then you will see a door over here. And you'll be like, hmm, how do I get in here? So you see the sconce, you will put the Dominion Torch here, and then you will have another option to light it. So you would light it, and then the door should open, and then you'll be in a whole new area. So once you're in here, run over here, traverse the cave -in. and then you see the stockpiled art. This is where you'll collect your mosaic pieces so just keep collecting until you have 300 and then run over here and there's also a mystery you can also um well a research thing you can uh right here with these icing skeletons that you will go skip over the rubble And you'll get a new soundtrack when you cross it. So you see how there's holes in here. So with the mosaic pieces, we can have the option to restore the damaged mosaic. Restore this part, yes. All right. Do the next one. And you gotta have you gotta have the hollowed be the everlight painting so it can have it it just resembles the same thing so you know what you're doing. Alright, so the last one here. And you feel a small shockwave as you repair the last part. Alright, so that means it's done. So what you would do after that is I you would dive in the water. So the first cog, when you dive in the water, it'll be over here. It's real hard to see, but it's right here. Like it's to the north, and then you'll see the cog right here. After you collect the cog, you see this mechanism right here. And it says repair it, yes. So that's the first one. And you can also study the the lighthouse mechanism to get a new research called like clockwork. So the next one, the next cog will be to the east. And it'll be right about here. It's real hard to see, but it's in a clam right here. So that'll be two. And then put the next one on. Repair it. 
Yes. And then the last cog will be to the south. And it's real hard to see, but it should be right here. You should see it here. Right here. And then pick it up and put on the last one. Okay, then you feel a small shockwave in the enter. Okay, that's the mechanism repaired and the mosaic restored. I wonder if the elevator will work now. Alright, so after that, we gotta leave the water. Surface back with the bubbles. Bubbles! Go back. And then activate the lighthouse elevator. Use elevator to ascend, of course. And then we got it. That's the achievement. So from here, we you see how there's four paintings here? You can scroll over right here. And it'll say place shield and it'll say the name of it. Siloe. Well, that one, then you would find that one. So you would use that one, put that right here. And it clicks. So that one, hit Tyroy. You would click it. Put it on the wall. Optimatoy. Put it on a wall. And who is this? Pro Dramoy. Put that bitch on a wall. Alright, so after that, you see all these come up. And then we have to orientate it into the to the specific shields. So this will be the last one. So you see how all of these are lit up now? Versus this one over here. These are lit up. So when they're in the correct place, so this one, will, so basically the last one you would do is right here, and you would push this over, and that should be it. Yep, you feel this fall. A small shockwave is your final shield. I should try the elevator again. So you would activate it again, and you would go up. Wow. This is crazy. This is some view. But from that Everlight, you can't take it. You can't take light in your hands. So you would have to take the Cantharos cup and, you know, restore it. And then before you could even take it, you got to learn how to take it. So you got to go to Falador. And then, you know, run. Run to the castle. And then you would talk to um, the guy with the wings. But well, let me get his name right. You would talk to... What's his name? Padomenes. You would talk to Padomenes. And you would have to also bring the gold Dominion medal. Right? Ever like how? It was lost to my people centuries ago. Right. I'm not sure what to tell you, but it's back. Risen out of the waters again. I found this medal in a statue of Patosan. She was my sister. Nah. I must have this. I loved her dearly. I miss her so. We were very close. Nah. I could tell you. You see, now here it is. I could tell you something of Everlight that you would find of value. <laughs> what it is. Give that boy... The metal. If you wish to claim the power of Everlight for yourself, uh huh, you would need a dip a Cantharos, right? Into the beam of the lighthouse. Uh huh. Exactly. Alright, so now you know how to. Now you go back. You go back to Everlight. You go 
go back to the underwater cave. Run all the way back. Skip over that rubble. Activate the lighthouse elevator again. Yep. Activate it one more time. We're gonna go up. Way up! <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna... Now we're gonna take the Everlight. Claim the Everlight. Yes. Let's see if what Padamena says works. You dip you you dip your cup in the Yep. There we go. And that's how you get your cup of nectar. And that's it. The heightened senses relic power. And that's how you do it. And you just finish all your mysteries. If you did it correctly, this you should be done. After you complete all of that, you get Venescula. She's super fast and she costs money, but now you got her. Now you're one more from getting everybody and getting a fast team. This is what it looks like when you offer the relic. Heightened senses increases your maximum of adrenaline by 10%. So if you're bossing, this is good for you.